You know, this weekend marks the second time in about six months a tornado touched down in the city of Sharon Springs. KSN's Aaron Llewellyn is here with one man's story who was in the middle of that storm last night. It's our top story, Aaron. Craig, a few towns suffered damage after that EF1 tornado ripped through western Kansas on Friday. But one town of about a 750 is standing together, volunteering and uh, being strong and mighty when withstanding the storm. I could hear the high shrill of the wind and we could hear heavy objects swirling and striking other heavy objects. A scary moment for Sharon Springs resident Corey David and his family. It wasn't very long, maybe 15, 20 seconds. It probably felt like longer, but after that, just still. David's house didn't suffer any damage. I saw a whole carport. The tornado just dropped a carport in our tree in our yard street area. And it, somehow it didn't strike at our house anywhere. But neighbors near him didn't have the same luck. Lots of ceiling, roof issues, insulations, and a lot of receipts from the co-op building that lost its roof. Those things have been blown all around town, stuck in trees and the gutters on the streets. I see a lot of people out there picking up things from the 80s, 90s. But receipts aren't the only thing volunteer cleanup crews are dealing with. The roads are pretty hard to navigate. I had to try to clear some of it for the people out walking and driving. A lot of roofing nails, shingles with nails sticking up, and tree branches poking all around. David says this experience should be a reminder for anyone who likes the thrill of the storm. I'm as guilty as everyone else out here. We all sure like to go chase the tornadoes. But this is a good reminder that Mother Nature is still the boss in the end. David says the sheriff confirmed that there are no injuries. He also says cleanup crews will be hard at work volunteering and putting their town back together over the next few days. Here for you, Aaron Llewellyn, KSN News 3.